Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you doing, Maria Elena? I saw you had problems yesterday with the connection. Yeah, I think it's the company. Oh, okay, yeah. It Eagle. depends all, oh, that's why. Well, for some zones and areas, it's okay and it's a very good service, but for other zones, it depends on the anthem, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, really bad. Oh, sorry to hear that because it's very important your attendance. So here we are like, um, we are like school, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, could you see the, the video? Could you watch the video? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And whenever you have a question, remember that you can ask me through the WhatsApp. And also, um, I was, I sent the exercise you requested. I mean, the, the one you told me that you needed, I sent just for transforming the sentences. Yeah. Okay, did you see it? Did you, did yeah. you do it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for helping. Okay, my pleasure. And also I sent the image with the glitch, okay, with the glitch. I think the glitch is already, it's already fixed in the platform for homework 17. Let me check again, because I saw it, but I wanna be sure. And um, what's the problem with the, the sentences? Because I write like you, and yeah. I don't know what the I sent. I sent the um, uh, the correction over there. I mean, it was not a problem from the students. It's because of the platform. It has a glitch, and oh. yes, you needed to add the pronoun you. Yeah, the pronoun you. Let me go there and show you because I sent the image yesterday and uh -huh. explained all you, all of you this. Okay, just let me go here. Let me fill it over. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Okay, I did it already. So now I'm going to show you. Ahí en el grupo envié eh, la, la captura de pantalla para que lo pudieran ver. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, the homework 17. And the number four is the problem. I, I know that you never will think that you have to add this pronoun, you, okay? But now I think they fixed it. They fixed it, but I tried already and no, it wasn't fixed. Okay. Yeah, I, I write only are going to have because then the other ones. Yeah. Jem uh, is going to go and I don't know. Yes, that's true. That's the instruction. And I apologize for that. Okay. And I'm so sorry, but now I'm telling you that just add the pronoun you and it's going to get it as a correct answer. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, everyone, please take note of that. Take note of this. We had to add the pronoun you. And yesterday I didn't tell you through, I mean, in, here in the video conference, but I sent a message through the WhatsApp group. Okay, just to let you know about this glitch. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. How are you doing, everyone? Are you okay? Are you tired? Are you happy? I'm okay. Okay, great. Uh, how's the weather for your, around your places? How's the weather? Is it raining? Is it hot? Is it cold? 
today is okay. It's okay. Great. Great. Here oh, it's raining. Is it raining there, Maria Elena? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Well, take your precautions over there to stay connected. Okay. We're going to start tonight with our practice. Remember that we did a little map yesterday. Pero vamos a variar un poquito la situación. Vamos a ver. Um, vamos a variarlo un poquito. Silvio, I think I'm going to take you as an example, okay? You are going to perform the example. What I want you to do is please share, share with us the, let's say map that you did. I mean, the one that you create, created. The one that you created. Do you have it handy? Tienes su mapita por ahí? Mm -hmm. Podemos utilizar el, el que estaba usando del manual, Silvio, por favor. Okay. Ahí era donde estaba usando, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. eh, comencemos con darle a todos la instrucción de dónde está el lugar que usted está diciendo. Okay. okay, como una oración con un imperativo, ¿verdad? Okay. One moment. I share the, the yes, manual. Yes, please. Yes, please. Share the screen with us. Okay. Okay, there you are. Okay. In this case, and the punto de partida, teacher? Uh, the start. The start. start uh -huh. The start. This one is ATM. Okay. Is the, is the, this is like the reference point. Okay. Right? Okay. The reference okay. point. So the reference if point. you want, you can change that, adding arriba en la barra de herramientas. Usted puede poner con el lapicito y saca un cuadrito. Okay, saca un cuadrito. Uh, no, just let me go up here. Wait, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't let me do this. Okay. Uh... okay. Well, it says anotar. Anotar. Yes. Okay. Uh... En anotar y ahí le va a salir eh, cuadro de texto. Para que lo, es, lo reescriba sobre hotel. Ok. Ok, there you are. Ok. Okay. Mm -hmm. um... ok, guys. Now the hotel is not the hotel anymore. It's an ATM. Ok. It's an ATM. So everybody please pay attention to the to the directions that Silvio is going to give us to find out or to guess which place he's talking about. Okay. The the bank in front or oh, in front at uh item item. Okay, the bank is is in front of for me it's from home. <laughs> okay, in front of the ATM. Okay. The ATM. In front of. In front of means that maybe there is a street between them, right? Like okay. because it's similar like across the street. Remember oh, okay. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this case. In this case, teacher, a correction. Uh -huh. uh, See, so yeah, this one is is in front of. In yes. Front of. In front okay. of. But here okay. we used around the corner. Remember, we are we are taking advantage that we have around the corner, right? Okay, and 
uh, the correct sentences in this case is a restaurant mm -hmm. in, in front of a uh, 8 a.m. Okay, the restaurant is in front of the ATM. Okay, so write down over there, restaurant, right? This one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's see. This is a very good example, okay? This is a very good example. That now we're going to listen to an instruction or a direction how to get to a place. And you are going to say, where is that place? Everyone is going to say where the place is, okay? You get it, guys? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Silvio nos va a dar su dirección. I mean, la dirección del lugar que es eh, de dónde está ese lugar y nosotros vamos a ir a buscar ese lugar y todos van a entrar y van a señalar, ¿ok? Correcto, sí se entiende. Ok, Silvio, déme la, denos la dirección, a mí, direcciones. Ok. Um, the hotel uh -huh. uh, is next to you y next to uh, restaurants. Okay, everyone, where is the hotel? Everybody, please get into the screen with your annotations and point. There you are. Okay. Is it okay, Silvio? It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. The next one, the next one. Yes, please. The gas station. Okay. In front of restaurants. Okay, guys. The gas station is in front of the restaurant or we could say across the street, right? Okay. We could say also on the right, right? on the right, down the street, on the right, because it's near the exit. Let's remember that. You get it? Yes, there you are. Okay, and the last one, please, Silvio. Um, the bank. Uh, it's on the left, the ATM. On the left of the of the atm okay let's see well we could say yes <laughs> we could say yes <laughs> but we could use the other one right we could use like down the street on the left right down the street on the left the thing is down and up is kind of uh confusing for us right now yes. but when we practice you are going to see where is up and where is down okay so where is it guys down the street on the left. Mm -hmm. There you are. Thank you, Karina. Okay, everybody pointing. There you are. Good. <laughs> <Todo Where lugar. laughs> you are you are running away. <laughs> okay, there you are. So this was the exercise from yesterday. And I remember that Carlos did a very good job too. Please, Carlos, could you 
share your screen with us? Thank you, Silvio. Thanks. Carlos Eduardo, I think it was a very good map, the one that he draw. Okay. Eh, ayer cuando nos salimos del room, se no, no lo pudimos guardar. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Well, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. But it was a very good map. I saw it, guys. I saw it. It was a very good map. Uh, Annie was working with you, right? Okay, do you have the sentences that you wrote about the directions? Do you have the sentences? Yes? Okay. Carlos asks Annie and Annie answers. Direction. Uh-huh. ¿Guardaron las, las oraciones? ¿Las escribieron? Yo escribí unas. Ok. Ok. Pero no sé si las escribió. Si okay. quiere hago las dos, no sé. Uh, ok. Hotel. You have uh, the other. The directions. Uh, vaya, the hagamos direction. la diferencia de address. Es exactamente eh, la, decir, ¿verdad? La ciudad, el número de casa. ¿Cómo hacemos normalmente para una dirección que nosotros conocemos en español? Dirección. Pero dirección en inglés, o di directions, es como las señas de cómo llegar. ¿Ok? Directions mm -hmm. is giving the signs or telling how to get there. For example, they using the imperatives that we were using, like go up the street, walk down the street, and turn to the left, take the the take the right or the first right, take the first left. Those are imperatives. Bueno, creo que vamos a dejar hasta ahí esa porque sí se nos eh, complicó un poquito ayer. Estaba bastante difícil el audio, incluso con la lluvia. Ok, eh, pero les agradezco mucho el esfuerzo a todos por esa actividad. Ahora voy a tomar la asistencia. Ok, I'm going to take the attendance and we are going to start with another, another exercise. Ok, so let me get there. Okay, then we have, today is Thursday, right? Today is Thursday, the 29th. There we are. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Good evening, Chair present. Okay, thank you, good evening. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ana. Uh, Ana del Carmen Mejia Alvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jimenez Ramirez. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Giovanni, Present. Al okay. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Okay. Nancy Betova Rivera. Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Raquel, are you there? Okay. Okay. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. <laughs> Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Um, 
Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez. Present Cal teacher. Okay, thank you, Ana Delmi. Uh, Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Inde Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, guys. Okay, I'm going to share a link with you. And you are going to, uh, to solve it online. We cannot, uh, we cannot project that images, those images because uh, um, of the copyrights. But it's very important for you to practice how to give directions. El tema en realidad es el uso de imperativos, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo déjenme ubicarlos. El uso de imperativos ya lo dominamos bastante. Y queremos recordar nada más que los imperativos pueden ser positivos o pueden ser negativos, ¿verdad? Ejemplo. Ejemplo. Yo le digo, be quiet, ¿ok? Es un imperativo. Pero si le digo, hey, please tell me, don't be quiet, ¿ok? It's a negative imperative, ¿ok? Don't be quiet. And remember that we can use the imperatives. Hemos estado viendo que debemos hablar muy polite, ¿verdad? Que debemos hablar muy amablemente. Los imperativos no quiere decir que no vamos a, que no es algo aceptable o algo amable. Depende del contexto en donde usted lo utilice, ¿verdad? Y depende del contexto de, o en la entonación que usted le dé al, al imperativo que usted está haciendo mandón, ¿verdad? Pero... We need, we need the imperatives. We need the imperatives in our language. For example, if I say, turn off your cameras, turn off your cameras. So you turn off your camera, right? Okay, turn off your cameras. It's an imperative, right? So if I say, turn on your camera, Turn on your camera. But if I say, please don't turn off your cameras. Don't turn off your cameras. So it's a negative thing and it is not hard language, okay? It's not bad. Okay, now, if I say, for example, um, repeat after me, okay? Repeat after me. But then I'm going to read, right? And then, and then I say, don't repeat, don't repeat after me. Okay, yeah. if you see, I have positive, I have negative. ¿Cuál es entonces el, el auxiliar que utilizamos? Do, ¿verdad? Y como es impersonal, utilizamos solo do. No vamos a decir doesn't, okay? No vamos a decir does, porque el imperativo es do. Okay, do something. Queda implícito cuando nosotros utilizamos un verbo normal. Por ejemplo, call your, uh, call the police. Okay, call the police. Es un imperativo. Va implícito el do. Okay. Pero cuando es negativo, si utilizamos el do. ¿Cómo? Don't call the police. Don't call the police. Okay. So, for example, we could say, um, open the door, right? open the door. But if you don't want that door open, then you are going to say, don't open the door, don't open the door. So we use don't for negative and we use the base form of the verb to say the positive, okay? En su tarea, en su tarea de los imperativos tenían unos verbos, ¿verdad? Tenían clean, call, and others. 
Entonces, recuerden, se puede usar también en negativo. Se puede usar también en negativo. Y en negativo son prohibiciones usualmente, ¿verdad? Son prohibiciones. Ok, now, dicho esto, vamos a hacer un ejercicio para que quede un poquito más claro y ustedes puedan escuchar cómo se dice dónde está un lugar. Les voy a compartir ahorita el link a través del chat, ok, aquí en Zoom. Déjenme usar el chat aquí. Solo voy a traer el link. Podrían por favor eh, desactivar sus audios mientras yo comparto esto. Gracias. Okay. Ahorita va. There you are. Please, let's listen and answer, okay? It's from esllab.com, okay? And the exercise is called directions around town. Directions around town you are going to find a listening exercise. Over there, you have a map, okay? You have a map. Then you play the audio, and la primera actividad es que ustedes completen, okay? La primera actividad es completar la oración. La segunda actividad es que ustedes marquen si es verdad o si es falso lo que se dice de ese lugar, de la dirección de ese lugar, ¿ok? ¿Pudieron accesar todos? Yes. Ok. Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher.
finish the stream. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Great, Carlos Alberto. Okay, people. How is it going? Did you all finish? Not yet, okay. Okay. How is everybody going? Yep. Pónganle stop un ratito, pónganle pausa, please play pause. Ahí en el chat, ok, en el chat aquí en, en, en Zoom, les hice la lista de las prepositions, preposiciones, to use, to use when you are going to talk about the location of a place in the city. Ok, we use across from. In nuestro manual, veíamos across the street, right? Across the street, across from. Uh, the other one is behind, and it means, okay, here is the front, behind, okay? Behind, behind. Now, between, we know that it is between, right? My head is between my hands. Then we have in front of, right? In front of, my hand is in front of the other hand, okay? Near, near is kind of similar to next to, okay? Pero next to muchas veces da la idea de beside, right? Uh, beside, near could be here, could be here, could be here, could be any place around, the place that we are talking about, right? Then opposite, opposite, let's remember that we can use also across the street or right in front of, right? Like opposite, opposite. So at the moment, did you finish the, a ver, levanten la mano, pongan ahí en las, en las reacciones, go to the reactions and Please do this, okay? If you finished. 
Okay, one, two, three. If you finished, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm going to give you two more minutes. Please continue. And everybody, please wait just a little bit. Be patient with the others. Okay, ahora sí, pónganle play nuevamente y lo finalizan y me levantan la mano cuando vayan finalizando. Thank you, Ani. Ya, ya la puede bajar. Siempre ahí en reactions. Usted va y pone bajar la mano. Ok. Thank you, María Elena. Ok. Thank you, Giovanni. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Carla. Ok. There you are. Thank you, Anna Delby. Now you can down your hand, please. Okay, I think everybody did, right? Okay, I'm going to write a question on the chat and you are going to give me an answer, okay? Excuse me, can you tell me where is the police station? Look at the map. Look at the map and your exercise. Where is the police station? Everybody writing in the chat. Go to the chat. In front of Zoom. Okay. And the exercise it said, Okay, thank you in front of the zoo. Okay, in front of the zoo. It's opposite the zoo, excellent. It's opposite the zoo. Mm -hmm. I otra que next to the bus station. Great, great. Uh-huh. In front of the zoo. Okay, let's say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about what about uh, the? Um, let me let me remember where is the other. Okay, where is the hospital? Where is the hospital? Mm -hmm. Okay, in front of the post office. Mm -hmm. Cuando usamos in front of, usamos the, okay, the post office. Okay. The hospital is in the corner. 
in the corner of this, in the corner of South Street and East Street, okay? Mm -hmm. Great. Now I'm gonna ask another question. What is the place between the city hall and the post office? Okay, the question. Okay, what's between the city hall? I'm sorry, the city hall and the post office. The sweetie, I said like, oh, good, yeah, nice. What's between the city hall and the post office? Okay, great. The library. Good. The library. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Now, we are going to continue, guys. We are going to continue because we have to start tonight with another topic to complete this situation about giving directions. But the thing is that our unit four is travel plans, travel plans, and we need some vocabulary. This is the importance from this unit in this level, vocabulary, okay, vocabulary. So let's go over there in our, uh, I'm going to show you a slide to start. Okay, to start a class or the topic for today. Okay, here we are. Okay, people, here it is. The topic for today is how to use get and how to use go. These two verbs are used when we travel because they give the, the idea of um, arriving to places, right? Or leaving the places. So in this case, we're going to use, to learn how to use get and how to use go. This is our video conference number 18, and today is July the 28th of, I'm sorry, the 29th of 2021. Okay, the agenda for tonight it was that we did a feedback, okay, with a speaking exercise. Then uh, I'm going to present the class objective. Then we are going to practice a dialogue. Then we are going to uh, give a little briefing, a short briefing about get and go meanings. And after that, we are going to create a conversation in our breakout rooms, okay? The turn for today's questions or session one-on-one -on -one is for Suleim, okay? Today is Suleim's turn. So let's go over there and let's see the objective for tonight. The class will be able to get to use, I'm sorry, to use get and go to give directions to various places, okay? The class will be able to use get and go to give directions to various places. So in this case, what do you see here in the picture? What do you see? What are these things? Que son estos? What is this? Bus. A bus. bus. Yes. A bus. What is this? Bus. Yes. 
motorcycle. It's a motorcycle, yes. Um, taxi. 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 It's a taxi, yes. Taxi. What is this? Airplane. It's a plane or airplane. an airplane. Okay, good. Good. Transport. Yes, we are going to study a little vocabulary of means of transportation. Means of transportation. Medios de transporte. Why? Because when we are in a city, we need to know how to get to a place or how to go to a place, okay? We're gonna see the difference between going and between getting, going and getting, okay? For that, we are going to see the, mean, the means of transportation. Okay, we have transportation um, through, Okay, we can get a transport by air, okay? By air. Can you tell me means of transportation by air? By air, the fly. We said here plane. What other do you know? Helicopter. Thank you, helicopter. What other? Okay, now let's think about, let's yeah. think about by the sea or by water. Do you know any? Ship. Ship, yes, it's a big boat, right? Ship. Mm -hmm. What else? Do you know any other? Sudway. Which one? Sudway. Subway, oh yes, that's underground, right? That's underground. So we could say on the ground, right? Yeah, a subway. But we are talking about by water, by water. Train. Kayak. Kayak, yeah. Kayak. Mm -hmm. And Spanish, cayuco. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, they are very nice, this kind of uh, boats, right? This kind of boats, yeah. Have you ever uh, traveled by a Cayuco? That's very interesting. That's very interesting, yeah. Ferry. Okay, the ferry. Mm -hmm. Good. Bye. Good. Excuse me? Bye. Okay, by is on ground, right? On ground. Train. A train is on ground. Okay, great. So we know what we are talking about, right? We have a little of vocabulary about this thing. So let's go to our manuals and there we have a letter soup. Okay, we have a letter soup about this vocabulary. Let me stop sharing and let me go to the manual. Okay, please go to page 45, okay, page 45. Okay, and let me ask you a question. Do you prefer to drive or taking a bus or walking? What do you prefer? Or do you prefer to take a taxi? What do you prefer? Esto es en general. ¿Qué ustedes prefieren? Manejar su carro, tomar un bus, o tomar un taxi? Uh, Uber. Uber. Uber, yeah. <laughs> it's cheaper, right? Uh-huh. Okay. But... So you prefer to take a taxi? Is it cheaper? Is it um, more comfortable? Or why do you think that? 
¿Por qué piensan eso? A ver. A limusine teacher. ¿Ya? ¿Ah? A limusine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be to really. work in car. Okay. On Sunday, ride motorcycle. Oh, Teacher. okay, good. Mm. Uh -huh. Bus. By bus, bus. okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I, I can uh, sleep. Oh, okay, yeah, you can sleep right there. Uh yeah but soon ago um i mean a little time ago it wasn't possible to sleep on the bus right because you were aware of the of the delinquency right yeah but now i think it's safer it's safer what do you think about that is it safer traveling by bus in these days es más seguro que antes What do you think? Antes no podíamos no. sacar el celular, ¿verdad? Right? Hoy se lo sacan sin que se dé cuenta. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Okay, people, now it's your turn. Please, Mark here in the sub letter, the 10 means of transportation from this box in the word search, okay? This is the word search, this is the sub letter, so you have to find marking with the line. Okay, good. Taxi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, one is missing, one is missing guys. There you are, train, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, so now we are going to repeat this words on, or we are going to practice the pronunciation, okay? We are going to practice the pronunciation of this word. Okay, I'm going to erase. Okay, again, and I'm going to open this thing. Yeah, there we go. So let's start with this one. Train, car, plane, motorcycle, subway, truck, helicopter, taxi, bicycle, ship. Ok, quiero escuchar a cada uno de ustedes. I want to hear each one of you. So, 
Let's start from, let's see here. Ana Cristina, please. All this line, it's this column. Train, car, plane, motorcycle, cycle, so motorcycle, 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 software. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you very much. Carlos Alberto, from here to the end. Truck. Me, truck, mm -hmm. helicopter. Okay. Taxi. Okay. Bicycle. Mm -hmm. Ship. Thank you very much, Carlos Alberto. Now, Nancy Yvette, please. Okay. This one from the train. beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Train, car, plane, motorcycle, sub subway, mm -hmm. true, truck. Yeah. Strong, helicopter, ese es mi cuesta, helicopter. Okay, taxi. helicopter. Uh -huh. Helicopter, taxi, uh, bicycle, ship. Thank you very much. Carlos Eduardo, please. From the, the beginning to the end. Okay, train, uh -huh. car, plane, motorcycle, subway, truck, helicopter. Taxi, bicycle, ship. Thank you very much. Now let's see, please, uh, Raquel, from the beginning to the end. Train, train car, plane, motorcycle, subway, truck, helicopter, taxi, Bicycle, 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 bicycle. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now, please, Juan Carlos. Train, car, plane, motorcycle, subway, truck, helicopter, tax, taxi, bicycle, ship. Thank you very much. Alejandra, please. Train, car, plane, motorcycle, subway, truck, helicopter, taxi, bicycle, ship. Okay, thank you very much. I want to, I want to hear to all of you, but because of the time, the others are going to repeat another vocabulary, okay? So no. Please, everybody pay attention to this little box, okay? Because in the conversation that we are going to practice, we have these, this phrase, go by, go by. Esa es la frase que utilizamos para decir en qué medio de transporte viajamos o vamos o podemos ir, okay? Uh, podemos ir al lugar donde queramos ir. So let's read this box. It says, use, go by, to specify the means of transportation you use from point A to point B. For example, go by bus, go by car, by plane, by foot. Okay. Si ustedes se fijan, este es un lenguaje bastante formal. Recuerden que estamos aprendiendo el lenguaje de escuela, o sea, de buena educación, ¿verdad? De mucho respeto y muy educado. Claro que podemos decir, take the bus, ¿ok? Perfectamente. Instead of go by bus, take the bus. Es más coloquial. Take the bus. Go by car means drive drive but if you don't drive then you can say go by car someone else has to has to drive for you right so uh, we could say drive your car but in this case you don't say drive your car you say just drive drive 
Ok. By plane. Perfectamente podemos decir fly. Ok. Fly. Just the verb. Fly to. Fly from. Ok. From point A to point B. For example. For example, I'm going to say this. I'm going to use the same sentence. I take the bus to get to my job, okay? I drive to get to my job, okay? I fly to Canada every year, okay? I fly to Canada every year. Or for example, by foot, I can perfectly say, I walk or you walk or he walks. She walks, okay? So for example, we could say, I walk to the park. I don't say I go by foot to the park, okay? I say, I walk. Ahora, dando direcciones, tenemos que usar un lenguaje muy polite, muy educado, okay? Is there when we use this vocabulary, okay? So let's see this conversation. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Let's read it again. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, now I want to hear Raquel and Annie, please. Read this conversation. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Then I'm going to drive. But I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go to there by foot. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Now, please, Nancy and Daniel. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Mm, I'm going to drive, but if I need to rent a car. Is there, an, is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay. So Okay, good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ahora, veamos acá, por favor, tenemos la pregunta que ayer aprendimos. How can I get to? Remember, get to. Get to means llegar, right? How can I get to the airport? Well, vamos a ver um, la otra. Tenemos acá la locomoción, ¿verdad? Or the movement from, uh, from the point A to B. I mean, it is the, um, the time that you can get between those points, right? Go. Uh, so if you see get is to arrive, right? Go is to move from here to there, okay? Let's see the difference. Now, hay esa pregunta muy importante. Is there a car rental near here? Okay. Is 
there a car rental near here? Si sustituyéramos esto por otro lugar, ¿cómo podríamos hacer la pregunta? For example, si yo lo que quiero es ir a comprar algo y estoy hablando de comprar algo, entonces podría decir, is there a supermarket near here? Es exactamente la misma frase, así que anótenla, apréndansela de memoria porque es muy importante. Is there a supermarket near here? Is there a gas station near here? Is there a hospital near here? Is there a um, library near here? Is there a police station near here? Okay, so we can use this. Cuando estamos hablando de un lugar en singular, okay? Un solo lugar en singular. Okay. Let's see the answer because the answer is sure. Y damos la ubicación o la dirección, okay, o las señas para llegar ahí. For example, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. For example, if it is far away, for example, the airport, she said, uh, go by taxi or you can drive, okay? Go by taxi or you can drive. You see? So now what are we going to do? We are going to practice this conversation. Okay. Y lo van a, y lo van a sustituir. Okay. Van a sustituir otro lugar. Por ejemplo, how can I get to the, y ustedes ponen otro lugar. Okay. How, uh, y bueno, cuando dan la indicación, Ustedes utilizan go by utilizando go by bus o cualquier otro medio de transporte. A ver, voy a hacer, voy a dividirlos en los grupos. ¿Se entendió? ¿Está correcto? Sí. Yes. Ok. Yes. Just five minutes, ok, to do that. Attendance, teacher. Thank you very much. You're right. I'm going to take the attendance right now before going. Teacher. Yes, tell me. That is not the same that cab. Yes, yes, it's the same. You can use either. You can use cab, you can use taxi. Um, okay. It's the Thank same. Mm -hmm. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Okay. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Um, Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present. Nancy Beto Rivera. Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Gracias. Present. Present. Okay, Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Now let's see. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Okay, Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. No, Kevin. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present teacher. Ok. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Ok. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Hoy recibieron por ahí un... Um, Teacher, falté yo. I'm sorry. No me dejo a mí. Daniel, Daniel Enrique. Daniel Enrique, Daniel Enrique. Oh my God, I'm sorry, Daniel. Let me check you in. Okay, Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. There you are. Sí. Thank you very much, yes. and I'm sorry, Daniel. Okay. okay, people. So now we are going to the groups. Only five minutes. You are going just to talk, just to talk, okay? There you are. Está siendo grabada. Vaya. Mm. Vaya, ahorita. Vaya, ahorita. Mm. No tienen la, la, el manual abierto. No, no lo tengo, lo, se me cerró. Oh, ok. okay. Cuando se ve el juego, se me cerró el, el manual. Ok. Let me check if I can do something for you, Gerx. Yo lo quería compartir, pero se me perdí. Ok, no problem. Let me see. Creo que lo abrí. Estamos en la página. Ya la encontré. 45. 45. Sí. Voy a ver si se lo puedo compartir. Ya, ya, lo, ya lo tengo. Ya, ya, lo, ya lo tengo. Ok. Sí. Ok, sí. Entonces vamos a decir. Ah, la conversación le vamos a cambiar, ¿verdad? Le vamos a cambiar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. vale. mm. Sería. Sería. Will... Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. How can um, I get and to the ayer tenemos que cambiar. Mm. Mm. Eh, el aeropuerto. Claro, ahí solo tienen que ir sustituyendo con el vocabulario que ya aprendimos, ¿verdad? How can I get to? Y dicen un lugar, ¿ok? Y luego, you can go by, y ustedes dicen aquí el, usando el vocabulario de eh, los medios de transporte. Los medios de transporte. 
Okay. Podríamos decir como, how can I get to the supermarket? Yes. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. ok. Entonces sería, excuse me. Entonces hay que contestar, where the paper, no, the supermarket. Yes. Supermarket. Okay, I'm going to another room, girls. Okay. Hola, se escucha bien cortado. Hello, teacher. No pudieron entrar a su sala, eh, Linda, Suleima. Eh, sí, teacher, pero Suleima me dijo de que solo está de oyente y Kevin no, no, quizás se le fue el internet, pero no le escucho nada. Ok, entonces Linda, la voy a pasar a otra sala para que siga practicando, ¿ok? La voy a pasar okay, a la okay, sala 4. Ok, room 4. Ok, Sorry, okay. Linda. Don't worry, don't worry. Kevin Daniel. La gasolina. Ah, ok, Ajá. ok. Y ella necesita ayuda para encontrar la... Gas station. Ajá, la, la yeah. gasolina. Ajá, excuse me, I ran out of gas. Sería well. Me acabo de unir a este grupo porque estaba solo. <ríe> oh, sorry. <ríe> ok, Kevin. Y aquí estamos, pero no estamos, como dice. Teacher, micrófono. Dad, turn around your mic. Thing is that uh, I had all uh, well. Not only you had problem with the connection, uh, maybe someone else because Linda was alone too, and there were another. Kevin Daniel, are you there? Kevin Daniel, he doesn't answer. Is it okay, Suleima, to practice with Carlos? Ok, solo que he estado solo escuchando, no he puesto mucha atención. Después iba a repasar la, la clase. Oh. Pero. Ok. Ok. Eh, so... Si me une a quien está solo. O... Yes, I'm going to send you over there. Thank you very much. No problem, Suleima. Continue with. Lo siento, Carlos. Ok. Let's see here. Ok, Carlos, I'm going to assign you to. Room one, okay? Room one, there you are. Down, uh, uh, next to. Next to significa siguiendo. Next to. Next to. 
by this side. Uh -huh. Sur. Sur is. Sur is the one block. Una cuadra abajo, ¿verdad? One block. One block. One block down. Um, next to. Right. Okay. Uh, I I am going to to food, but I want to eat. Is there a restaurant near here? Sure. It's one block up the street and turn right next to the supermarket. Uh, thank a lot. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, how how can I get to a hospital? Well, the hospital is very near. Near, you can go by foot or you can drive. Uh, thank. I am going to foot, but I want to eat. Is there a restaurant near here? Sure, it's one block up the street and turn right next to the supermarket. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, people, let's listen to G Mr. Giovanni and Mr. Giovanni, please. Okay. Uh, excuse me, how can I get to a hospital? Well, the hospital is very near. You can go by foot or you can drive. Thank you. I am going to food, but I want to eat. Is there a restaurant near here? Sure, it's one block up the street and turn right next to the supermarket. Thank a lot. Great, great. Uh, remember, go by foot. Go by foot. By foot, not to foot, okay? Go by foot. So now we want to listen to Annie, please, with your partner. Pete. Yes, Annie. Con Silvia. <laughs> okay, there you are. Well, I, I didn't remember it was Silvio. Okay, there you are. Inicia Silvio. <laughs> Silvia, you don't have uh, audio. Please open your I'm mic. I'm sorry. Thank you, no problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, how can I get the zoo? Well, the zoo is very far away. You can go by bus or you can Uber. Thanks. Mm, I'm going to bus. Uh, is there a bus station near here? Sure, it's three blocks down the street. <laughs> Thanks a lot. 
Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. No, nice. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> Let's listen to Carlos Eduardo now. Okay, with your partner. It's going to Kevin Ramirez. Okay, there you are. Oh, Kevin, you sir. Okay. Um, excuse me, how can I get to the bus station? Well, the bus station is very far away. You can you can go by Uber or you can drive. Thanks. You, Ooh, I'm sorry, you I can drive? To... Go by Uber. Uber. Okay, yeah, you can call the Uber, but after that, what did you say? I'm sorry, Carlos. Oh, thanks. Uh, ooh, I am going to drive. Ah, drive. But, okay, drive. Okay. Uh, to drive, uh, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. Uh, it's go down the street in front of the bank. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, good, good. Alejandra, please, with your partner. Okay, teacher, ahorita vamos con Wendy. Um, excuse me, how can I get to the Park Bicentenary? Well, the Bicentenary Park is very far away. You can go by bus or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to bus. Okay, I'm going by bus, right? By bus. Yes. Uh huh. So the the follower, I mean, the following question could be. Where is the bus station, right? Where can I take the bus? So where is the bus station? Esa podría ser la siguiente pregunta, ¿verdad? Where is the yes. bus station? Para que Wendy le dé la dirección, ¿no? cómo seguir para encontrar the bus station. Okay? okay. Where is the bus station? Sure. It is to, bl to block down the street. You can, can go Three by foot. You, you can okay. go there by foot, yes. Thanks a lot. Great. You see, this is very nice. Now, let's see Linda, please. Okay, teacher. With Juan Carlos and Nancy. There you are, yes. Okay. Excuse me, I ran. I run off of gas. How can I get to the gas station? Sure. The gas station is very near. You can go there by foot. It's two blocks down the street, then on the right. And thanks a lot. <laughs> Good. Thanks. This is very nice. You see, both gave information to Nancy how to get to the gas station. Great conversation. Okay, Thank guys. You. So we are going to stop you. there with the this exercise, and we are going to continue with our manuals because there we have to uh, learn the difference between go and get. Ahora, déjenme mostrarles. No, we're going to the we're going to the manual first, ¿ok? Vamos al manual porque ahí tenemos que hacer un ejercicio pequeñito. Okay, here we are, and here it says pair work, but we are going to do it all together. And the instruction says, write the name of three different places around your company. And let's 
think about the question and what will be the answer given direction how to get there. Not exactly the directions, but you can go by, right? Okay, there you are. So number one, let's say a place. Let's say a place. Who wants to give me a place num name here? A ver, un lugar. Near your company. Do you have a restaurant near your company? Is there a, a restaurant? Pharmacy. Okay. Uh huh. Pharmacy is very formal. We, in American English, we say drugstore. Okay. Drugstore. Okay. So let's say drugstore. There you are. Okay. Means of transportation, transportation will be the car. So the question is, can I go to where? The drugstore by car. And the answer is, okay. Is there a drugstore near your company? Around your company? Or is it far away? Near. Near, okay. So the answer is, can you go to the drugstore by car? Yes, you can, right? Yes, you can go by car, you can drive. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Okay, this is a short answer, right? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. What if it is negative? En este caso le vamos a decir nombre para que vea. Mejor vaya a pie si ahí nomasito está, ¿verdad? So we're going to say, uh, it's not necessary, okay? It's not necessary. You can go there by foot. Si fuera negativo, ¿verdad? Okay? You can go there by foot, right? So yes, you can if you want the person to go driving. And if the answer is no, you can't, it depends on maybe there is no parking lot or available, or maybe you have to go in this way and the pharmacy or the drugstore is right in the other place and you cannot turn, right? You cannot turn and turn, you cannot take a left, right? You, you can, or you cannot take a, a right. So you can say that. So you can go there by foot if it is easier, if it is near there. Now, let's see another place. Tell me another place in the city or around the company. Laundry. Laundry? Bank? Laundry? Uh, Alguien dijo bank? Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Juan Carlos. So now, bank. What is the mean of, of transportation you can use to get there? Can you go by bus? Can you go by car? Can you go by foot? Can you go by plane? <laughs> no, right. Not by plane, not by, by helicopter. Foot. By bicycle, right? <laughs> okay. By foot, okay, by foot. Okay, there you are. Can I go, uh -huh. what is the question? Okay, can I go to the bank by foot? What will be the answer? If it is positive, if it is positive, 
Chukang. Okay, great. Yes, you, yes, can. you can. Great. Okay, there you are. Ahí en esa respuesta podríamos dar dirección también de cómo llegar. Okay, yes, you can. It's just two blocks from here, right? So, yeah. Another place? Laundry, you, did you say, Nancy? Nancy? Laundry, okay. Yes, teacher. Laundry. Laundromat. Okay, there you are. Laundry. And is it near or is it far? Far. Okay, then what mean of transportation can we use to go there? Bus. Bus, okay. <laughs> and taking your tanates. There you are. Taxi. <laughs> yeah, taxi <laughs> better because of the big bag right there. Go, go yeah. and bus, not <laughs> taxi not or easy. Uber. Taxi or Uber. Okay, there you are. Okay. Uh -huh. Four that. people. Teacher. <laughs> Imagine walking home again with a big tanates. There you are. Cool. Let's say bus car and taxi okay ah uber right let's say uber yeah there you are so now let's let's ask the question i mean please tell me the question and can i go to the laundry okay and and Uber. <laughs> okay, by let's say by taxi because by that's the yeah by taxi. Okay. Yeah. My Can I go by taxi? Uh huh. Recordemos que este es un lenguaje muy formal porque podríamos decir Can I take a taxi to go to the laundry? Okay. Ese sería como más coloquial, verdad? Más de la calle, más normal, digamos. Okay. Este es un lenguaje educado decir, can I go to the laundry by taxi? And now we are going to say, yes, you can, or no, you can't, right? Ahí podríamos dar las direcciones, right? So giving directions, it could be. Yes, you can. For example, if you are working on the front desk of a hotel, right? You could say, yes, you can. Do you want me to call a taxi for you? Okay, right? Eso ya es ofreciendo. Recordemos el lenguaje más formal. Instead of saying, do you want, como decimos, would you like, ok? Would you like, todavía mucho más educado, ok? Remember, ya vimos want, need, and would you like. Would you like me to call a taxi for you, right? Okay, there we are. So let's continue here. Oh, let me erase these things. There we go. Y veamos. Let's look at the difference between the use of get and the use of go. Look at the words in bold and complete the sentence as below. Look at the words in bold and complete the sentence as below. So please, Linda, read these three sentences for us, please. Okay, teacher. How can I get to the trade center? 
I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. Great. Thank you very much. Now, Juan Carlos, please read these other sentences and this side. How do you go to work? I am going to go to the conference center after a check-in. Okay. I go home around 7 p.m., 7 okay. o'clock p.m. Thank you. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Now let's read, let's read understanding how, do, how are they using get here? What is the meaning of this verb in these sentences? So let's read. Use get to ask for directions or to emphasize the idea of, of motion from A to B or arrival. What idea do we see in these sentences? Arrival. Okay, then you can write there, arrival. Okay, arrival. So now let's read the other. Use go to specify the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of motion from A to B or arrival. Motion from A to B. Okay, great. Motion from A to B. So it means that you are going to write there, motion from A to B. Ahora, como ya vimos esa diferencia que cuando usamos go es el movimiento de aquí para allá o el, el, la com locomoción, ¿verdad? Por el medio que vamos a utilizar, go. Go. Esa idea nos da eh, no solamente la llegada, ¿verdad? Pero get da la idea de llegar al punto, entrar, right? Entrar al punto, llegar al punto, arribar. So let's read the next sentences. We have here some sentences, very important. And they say, complete the statements with get or go. Sometimes both options are possible. Muchas veces go and get se pueden usar indiferentemente. Okay? You can use get or you can use go and it doesn't change the meaning. Okay? Now let's read number one. It's the example. So we are going to read it and take the idea. We're going to buy a charger when we get to the airport. We're going to buy a charger when we get to the airport. Si hubiéramos puesto go, ¿qué idea diera? Si en vez de get, aquí, ponemos go, ¿qué idea da? ¿Qué va a ir? Cuando va. Ajá. On the way, right? On the way, maybe at, in the gas station, they are going to stop wow. and then they are going to buy the charger before arriving the airport, right? But here they are saying that at the airport, they are going to buy the charger. So when they get to the airport, they are going to buy a charger. You get the idea? Do you? Or don't you? Questions at the moment? Uh, one question. Yes, tell me. Uh, uh, use the get and arrive. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Son synonymous or get and arrive. Okay, arrive and get, depending on the use in the sentence, could be synonyms, but uh, they have different meanings, but they, yes, the idea of arrival, yeah, it's given by get. Okay. Yes, you can use, for example, when we arrive to the airport and it sounds good too, right? Correcto, si podríamos utilizar en este ejemplo, si podemos utilizar arrive, 
Y puede right. ser un sinónimo en esta, en esta oración. Okay? ok. Maybe in some... ¿En uh, could be. Sí. Ahorita mm -hmm. veamos la idea de los dos significados. Ok. okay? Luego, okay. luego con el uso, usted va a ver que eh, hay palabras que definen mejor lo que usted quiere decir. Por ejemplo, si usted dice arrive, es un, es un significado específico, ¿verdad? Es un significado específico. Que llegó y punto, right? Arrive. ¿Cómo llegó? We don't know, ¿ok? No da una idea de, de movimiento, no da nada. Arrive. Get to the airport, ¿ok? Get tiene una infinidad de, de significados pero dependiendo de dónde lo utilicemos, así va a ser su significado. En este caso, sí, podemos decir que en este significado, arrive es a sign on end. Okay? No le puedo decir que get and arrive son sinónimos porque get tiene muchos significados y lo puede encontrar con otro significado y me va a decir, sí, pero aquí no está lo mismo que arrive. Sí. Por eso le digo que en este significado, sí. Okay. Okay. Be sure. mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Tell me. Uh, arrive is, is the the moment, for example, and get is the future. Uh, not exactly. No, not exactly. You can when, use the present simple for the future. Airport is not not stay in the in the airport. I going to the airport. Yes, correct. But if you say we arrive to the airport, it will be the same meaning of future, right? Because uh, of the um, uh, meaning of the whole sentence. Yes. yes. Okay. Acuérdese que podemos usar el presente simple para una acción futura. Eso lo vimos al principio de este módulo. Lo pueden revisar en los primeros videos. Ahí mm -hmm. pueden ver también cómo utilizábamos el presente simple para un futuro. Eh, and, and say the difference and she, uh, be, between uh, arrive and get. Ah, ok. Uh, sí, pero no. <laughs> o sea, get, en realidad lo que estamos viendo acá es un solo significado. El significado que puede ser un sinónimo de arrival. Ok. No les digo de una, por eso ahí queda la duda para ustedes, pero... Traten de minimizar esa duda pensando así. En este significado de get, de llegar a un lugar, ¿okay? este significado sí es sinónimo de arrive. Cuando lo encuentren en otro lado, probablemente no va a ser un sinónimo. ¿Ya? Correcto. Con este significado, arrival. Because we are talking about moving, right? Traveling. So, go and get. We're going to buy a charger when we get to the airport. As you wanted to try with arrive, yes, arrive to the airport. That's the meaning, the other meaning. So now let's see number two. Let's see number two and let's think about if we are going to use go or get. Let's see. Alex says, Sophie, how do you to work. Sophie says, by car. Go. Go. Okay. Go. How do you go to work? Perfect. Yeah, by car. How do you go to work? By car. En esta, también podríamos utilizar get y no cambia su significado, okay? Usted le puede preguntar perfectamente a alguien, how do you get to work? How do you get to work? Y la persona le va a contestar el medio de transporte también. Este es uno de los casos, como dice aquí arriba, both options are possible. Okay? So how do you go to work and how do you get to work? Number three. Number three. Go. Go. Uh, yes, uh, because yeah. it's a movement, right? It's motion from A to B, from the meeting yeah. to the production plant. Yeah. 
the trainer is going to get get to go right to go to the production plant after the meeting yeah to go because he's going to move from the place of the meeting to the production plant next one number four Get. get. Can you read get. the complete sentence, please, Giovanni? Get. Get. Can you please read the complete sentence? Excuse me, how can I get to the bus station? Great, thank you. Number five. Maria Elena, please read the sentence. The van is really near. You can go by foot. Perfect. Number six, please, Wendy Xiomara. I'm going to call you when I go to the hotel. Okay, when I, when I go or get? Go. Entonces le va a hablar en el camino hacia el hotel. Ok, cuando hablamos de go, acuérdense que es un movimiento, ¿verdad? Es un trayecto. Entonces, si usted no lleva un celular, no le puede hablar. O si va manejando, no debe usar celular, por ejemplo. Entonces dice, I'm going to call you when I get to the hotel. Get to the hotel. Yes, get to the hotel. Right? This is reasoning, okay? Eso es razonando cada uh, respuesta. Okay, guys. Okay. Do you use a GPS? Do you use a GPS? Do you know how to use a GPS system? No. No? No. Okay, Wait. the GPS is a system that yes. gives you the instructions how to get to a place. And it's giving you the directions, right? And it's giving you like imperatives, uh, turn left to your destiny, right? Or you get to your destination if you just turn right, for example, right? So, ¿Pero alguien ha escuchado cuando va en el Uber, cuando va hablando el GPS? Yes? Okay. Yes. You yes, you have an idea, right? So, now, let's see. The thing here is that one of you is going to drive and use the GPS. And the other partner is going to give you uh, the directions as if he were or she were the GPS, uh, the GPS worker or como sería el locutor, the broadcaster, right? Or something like that. So this is an example. Thank you for using Roadstar. How can I help you? Esta es una llamada, es otra forma, verdad? Antigua de como se ubicaba uno llamando a un teléfono, verdad? I need directions for the... Y decimos el nombre del hotel, the Grand Hotel, for example. How can I get there? Sure, please turn left, continue 20 kilometers, for example. Ahora, veamos un poquito, veamos un poquito antes de eso en unos dos minutitos. There are signs, traffic signs, right? Do you see the traffic signs here? Traffic signs. Okay, let me stop sharing here. Okay. Let me stop sharing and in dos minutitos vamos a ver esto. Ese ejercicio quizás lo vamos a dejar para mañana, chicos. Pero lo voy a dejar explicado para que ya traigan una idea. Just let me 
open this. Two hours now. <laughs> you see something there. You see that? Okay. Okay, this is getting the idea, getting the idea of go and get. If you see, go means moving, right? By the means of transportation and also from point A to point B, right? And get, get is like the finish line or something like that. Now, expanding the vocabulary for this exercise that I'm talking about. Vieron las señales de tránsito que estaban en ese, en ese mapita, verdad? En, en el manual. Vamos a ver. Estas son unas cuantas, ¿verdad? Eh, que podríamos decir, don't turn left, the meanings of those signs. Okay? Estos son los significados de algunos de las señales de tránsito. Okay? Don't turn left. Then you have an arrow and it's uh, with an over, uh, with a line passed on it, right? So, this exit goes to, then there is a sign, right? There is a sign. This exit goes to, and it says the place, right? It says the place. No overtaking, right? No overtaking. Do we understand that uh, concept? No sobrepasar, verdad? Yes. Don't turn right. Don't turn right. We have a narrow to. School zone. School zone, then we have the little kids walking with a parent, right? And it's usually yellow, right? No U-turns, no U-turns. Maximum speed is, and don't continue. Don't continue is stop, right? Stop. We could say only stop, and then it says don't continue. Okay, now, going back. Okay, esa era la página 47, ¿verdad? Página 46. Okay. Mañana que regresemos, vamos a hacer esta conversacioncita. Okay. La vamos a hacer eh, dando direcciones, pero al mismo tiempo hablando de las señales de tránsito que encontramos. Okay. Are we okay with this? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. I'm going to send a link through WhatsApp, okay? But for you to learn how to use get and go, para que practiquen en gramática. Ahora, ahorita hemos visto en tiempo presente get and go, pero get and go también lo podemos usar en los tiempos que ya hemos aprendido. Ya aprendimos el presente continuo que es ing, ¿verdad? Getting. Ya aprendimos también el pasado de get que es got, ¿verdad? Y tiene exactamente el mismo significado dependiendo del tiempo en que estemos hablando y que nos estemos refiriendo a la acción. Ahora, les voy a enviar ese link para que ustedes practiquen y va en los diferentes tiempos, ¿ok? Va en los diferentes tiempos, so you have to think about that. Es como un reto. ¿Verdad? Es como un reto. Okay, people, so today's turn was for Suleyma, I remember. ¿Verdad? Era para Suleyma el turno de hoy. Okay, yes, yeah, Suleyma. I'm going to take the attendance and we're going to be dismissed. Está caliente.
Oh, no me deja. Está. Okay, there we are. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Okay, there we are, guys. One second. Ana del Mierrera Morales. Present teacher. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Salas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present Silvio, teacher. Ok. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Ok, guys, just let me ask. Suleima, are you going to stay with me or do you want to switch with someone else? Um, bueno, 10 minutes, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, only 10 minutes. Only ten, because it depends on your question. Eso depende de su pregunta. Ok. <laughs> ok, teacher. Si se queda o lo cambia. Mañana, chicos, le toca a alguien que abandonó el curso o no está. Entonces también está ese puesto available. Podríamos pasar a su leima para mañana y alguien okay. puede tomar el turno. Ok, there you are. Thank you very much, Carlos. Ok, su leima, hagamos así. Is it ok? Ok. Ok, okay. then. Gracias, no problem. Carlos. Good. Ok, Carlos Eduardo, then you stay with me and everybody have a good night. Bye bye. Do your homework. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Bye bye. Bye. Okay, okay, there we are. Okay, teacher, I have two uh, uh, questions. Tell me. N number one, the, the mm -hmm. manual, uh, one question, uh, in, in you say go and and mean is get, mm -hmm. is, uh, quiero, uh, uh -huh. quiero, cuál es la uh, pregunta? In the exercise. Ajá, in the exercise. Okay. Eh, or examples. Ajá. Ok, eh, ando buscando la pregunta. Ok, ok. <laughs> es que solo la, la me quedé y quería preguntarle, Ticha. Ok. Eh, usted la tendrá uh, la que vimos ahora. Ahorita vamos a verlo. Sí, lo ando tengo buscando. abierto todavía. Ok, here we are. A ver, déjenme compartirle aquí. Okay, let me example. share. Yes, let me share the screen with you. One second. I think here it is. Okay, the question number three, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me. Oh, uh, no, the, the get and, and go. This one. Okay, yes. Uh, uh -huh. Number three. Uh -huh. The trainer is going to go to the production plan after the meeting. Uh, I understand it is uh, go, go. It's going to go. O sea, yes. En, en español es ir yendo, por decir algo. Eh, el, el capacitador irá a la planta de producción 
no me suena muy... Va a ir a, va a ir Ajá, a pienso, la planta. Ah, yo pienso que es get porque el entrenador llegará a la planta de producción, o sea, yo así lo traduzco. Ok, en Después ese caso, ok, perfecto. En ese caso volvemos al punto de decirle que both options are possible. Pero okay. recuerde que both potion, options Pero, are potion, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. ¿Cómo ve con, con God, teacher? Porque yo lo veo en español, en español quizás porque mi, mi, como usted dice, el uh -huh. cerebro no le hemos acostumbrado, entonces yo leo, el capacitador irá para ir a la planta de producción, o sea, yo lo veo redundante. Por eso no. pienso que es llegará, es, es mejor traducción, y pienso que es con get. Ok, Pero, o sea, aquí hay un me, detalle. Me, me, me ayude. Ok, hay un detalle. Re, voy a empezar por esta frase que dice acá. Both options are possible. Okay. Pero también el significado va a depender de lo que usted quiere decir, como le decía yo a, a Giovanni, recuerda. Eh, okay. Por ejemplo, si él quiere decir en vez de get aquí, arrive, lo puede decir perfectamente. Yes. Pero si él le dicen o si él escucha, y lo mejor o lo más coloquial es decir get, ¿ok? O lo más acertado es decir get. Entonces pone, o sea, ya get. saben ustedes que get aquí en este significado es sinónimo de arrive. Ahora, con esta, volviendo al punto de los significados, is going to, es el future, ¿ok? Es el futuro. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So if it is the future, Carlos, It doesn't have nothing to see with the principal verb or the main verb. In this case, go, it doesn't matter that it goes with going to. Okay. La idea aquí es, is going to, is the, the structure for talking about the future plans. Okay? okay. Entonces, the trainer is going to go to the production plan after the meeting. Perfect. Okay. Uh, it, 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 I mean, It's not a problem, it's not redundant, redundant, and also is the correct uh, meaning because it's a motion from the place, from the meeting, where the meeting is, because I think it's not the production plan. Maybe okay. it's an auditorium or maybe it's in the meeting room, right? Over there in the administration building. So he has to move from that place A to the place B that it is the production plan. So we use go. Okay, okay. we use go. Mm -hmm. If okay. you say, for example, the trainer is going to get to the production plant after the meeting, you are saying, con su significado, lo que usted quiere decir es que va a llegar. Okay? Uh -huh. Que llegará, the, el capacitador eh, llegará, uh -huh. o sea, porque es en futuro, llegará la planta de producción después de la reunión. Ok, el significado de este futuro sería va a llegar. Ok. Ah, es va, going perdón, to es going, como sí. va. Uh -huh. Va a llegar, ajá. Uh -huh. Me parece más correcto. Quizás, eh, como le okay. digo, tenemos Entonces, tan en ese... lo, el español. <ríe> que... okay. Pero en that case, yo no utilizaría get. Ok. No, got, si, si voy go. a decir va a llegar, yo le podría decir es going to come to the production plan. Ah, okay. Vendrá. Okay. Yeah, it's going to arrive to the production plant. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah it's maybe arrive is synonym. Okay, that's the meaning that you want to give. Okay, es el, okay. el, el, el significado que usted quiere expresar. Por okay. eso deja abierto acá, both options are possible in some, in okay. some uh, times, okay? Sometimes. So, yes, si usted lo usa como get, le aseguro que le va a sonar un poco raro a la persona que le escuche, ¿ok? okay. Es mejor usar go, ¿ok? Es mejor usar go porque es una idea de movimiento de A a B. Sí, esa, esa parte, como le digo, quizás es, hay que acostumbrarse en el cerebro español. Inglés. Cuando haga el ejercicio, when you do the ah. exercise online, you are going to see the difference. Okay. okay, the difference between what is get and what is go in this case. And okay. sometimes, and sometimes you can use get and you can use go at the same time. So it doesn't matter which one of those you use. So you don't have to be like uh, a click, right? No, you, you have to, you have to find this. I mean, find out this according to the meaning of what you want to express. 
okay, okay. of what you want to express. If you want to say uh, arrive, then you use get. If you want to say move from here to there, then you use go, okay? For okay. example, if you are telling the employees or the trainees, you are going to tell them the trainer is going to get to the production plant around seven o'clock, okay? Ya estamos dando otro significado. Sí. Eh, yeah. es más, más, más exacto. Yes. Ok, hey, teacher, la, uh -huh. la otra cuestión es eh, de la passive voice. Eh, passive no, voice, ok. Passive voice, todavía no, no, no mucho. What eh, is the problem with that for you? I mean, for, uh, for example, uh, mm -hmm. does Mike the mechanic fix your car? Ah, uh, ok, in question. Okay. En cuestión, exacto. En, en others, eh, eh, ya las tengo, de, de, de lo que usted mandó. Ok. Pero the question, o oh, por ejemplo, negative, I don't do my work today. I don't do my work today. Ok, then it changed completely. It changes completely. <laughs> sí. Acuérdese que a veces decimos... Se ¿Quién lo hace y quién no lo hace? Déjeme abrir el... Esa, ah, ese lo, ejercicio. Lo oh, sí. es verdad. Mm, I don't remember if it, if it is this one. Si no, es el escribo. Yes, this one. This one it is. This one it is. Okay. So we've got it. Let's see. Does the mechanic fix your car? Remember, after the verb, we are going to find what is going to be the, the subject in the passive voice. So let me annotate this. In, in, in this case, the subject is Mike. The yes, in the, in, the, um, in the active voice, because he's the doer, uh -huh, okay. right? But in this case, what is the action? Okay. What is the action and who receives uh, the it, action? Your car. Okay, that's the action, right? So we are going to use your car as a subject, right? Your, okay. car. your car. But this is a question. So I'm going to ask, referring to your car using the to be verb. Why? Because the passive voice is right. formed by the to be verb plus the past participle of the verb. I have to split this into a question and I have to say, is your car fixed, right? Oh, okay. Fixed. There, I have the to be a verb and I have the past participle, is right? your car. Is your car fixed? Si usted quiere saber si Mike lo hizo, entonces usted pone by Mike the mechanic. Okay. Is okay. your car fixed? Mm -hmm. Is your car fixed? Siempre en pace, verb. Uh, past participle. Past parts, okay. Yes. It's fixed. the third column in your list. Okay. Uh, is correct as a fixer? Yes. Is your car fixer? Fixed. Uh -huh. See, it's better, is complete by Mike the mechanic. Yes. Okay. Yes. Teach, teacher, uh, uh, the, the number, number seven. Number seven. I don't ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Do my work today. I, I don't do my work today. Uh -huh. uh, no hice mi trabajo hoy. Yes. Aquí sí es un cambio completamente todo, o sea, al, al 100%. Why? Uh, vamos a utilizar el objeto directo, el obje esto es ya gramática, ¿verdad? El objeto directo en este caso sería my work, why? Because it goes right after the verb. So if we say do my work is the action, right? Do my work is the action. So I'm going to split the action into the direct object and the verb. So my work, my work, becomes the It's subject, done. right? Done. Exactly. Pero como es negativa, uh, isn't. Okay. Uh, isn't. Esa es la que no encontró. Isn't done. 
Is it done? O sea, no, no fue hecho, ¿verdad? Yes. My, oh. my work isn't done. Oh, mire que con eso sí. Ok. My... Ahí podríamos decir by me, pero it's not necessary. Sí, no. My work isn't done today. Oh. My work isn't done today. Ok. Yes. Why? Because I didn't do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have English uh, class. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my work isn't done today. Today. Teacher, with, with the others, yo um um uh, yo creo que. Okay. Muy bien, pero de de esto sí me me estaba costando bastante. Okay. No, no las entendía. Okay. Always remember, after the verb, the main verb, it goes the the part that is going to become the subject in the passive voice. Okay. Exactamente, después del verbo usted encuentra lo que se va a convertir en el sujeto de la siguiente pregunta, de las, eh, perdón, de la oración en voz pasiva. ¿Después del verbo? Después del verbo principal, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí, sí. Ok, y ese verbo principal es el que se va a convertir en pasado participio y acompañado por el to be, ¿verdad? Acompañado por el to be, yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, sí, no, yo creo que con eso sí, pero esta como que sí me, me estaba dando bastante problema. Ok, ok. Do you <laughs> want to try another? Sí, ya le, le quité mucho tiempo ya. Creo que no, ya it's not a año. problem, don't worry. I need you to be clear. I mean, get clear with this. Ok, no. lo que me, a mí me okay. interesa es que okay. quede claro, ¿verdad? It's ok. Yeah. Ok, sí, that... ya las tengo, teacher. Solo en, ok, en, en nice. En sí me quedaba yo, pero okay. me perdido. Okay, good. Then it has been my pleasure and let, let us meet tomorrow, Carlos. Thank you, teacher. No good problem. Night. Okay, have a okay, good night. Bye. You See too. You <laughs> bye. See you. Bye.